The TMR gang is about to go live online. Catch the video stream of the hottest and most awarded morning program on Philippine FM Radio. The Morning Rush. Straight from the Monster Facebook page at RX931. The Monster YouTube channel at RX931. And Twitch.tv slash Monster RX931. Time to have fun with hosts Chico, Hazel, and Marky. Join the TMR gang now. Stand by and enjoy the program. Monster RX 93.1. And just like that, it is time for the top 10. And we are live on Facebook this yes, time. Yes, now we're on Facebook. We're on YouTube and Twitch. So please join us at RX 931 for everything. Good morning to everybody who joined us earlier on TikTok. Hopefully you can join us now on uh, FB. Hello, good morning to these texters as well. Dan Lester, Ariel says... My morning crush is La Grande Dame from UK versus oh, Honestly. Yeah. Honestly. According to Ariel, I'm attracted to that mug and drag and yung mayab- mababang voice niya. Actually, the in voice. and out. In, in and, and out, out of drag. drag. Yeah. Like, Just so attractive. Gorgeous. Yeah. yeah, gorgeous. Pero ang isa pang morning crush ko from UK versus the world, Kata Minaj. Kata Minaj. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Masyadong na-excite. Masyadong <laughs> na-excite. Uh, yeah, Kata Minaj. Kate Minaj, out of drag. Ganun lang pala, hindi Kate Minaj! Naging Oprah ka na. Naging Oprah. Hello, good morning also to Edricans. Um, I was secretly wishing Ari to feature Mimi in one track, not knowing it's going to be sooner um, uh, rather than later. And it's on Yes and Yes, exactly. We talked about it for tea earlier. That's going to be released tomorrow. So we're all excited for that. Sophia says... Air fryers are amazing for when you get fries delivered and they're soggy na. Try it. Oh. Right. Like, I have a lot of friends who told me that grab it. The fries that they'd order, even if it's left after an hour, it's all soggy. It's all oily. But then it's like magically rejuvenated after. Honestly, I'm kind of team soggy when it comes to fries. Oh, really? Bit. Why? 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 I kind of like it when it's like a little bit soft. <laughs> surprise <laughs> surprise huh i know i'm talking about fries yeah that's well, like I mean, it's so yucky I mean, it's not yucky it is I mean, it's like still the edible texture, i mean, to it's be edible fair. but no but it's a nice like uh, i don't know it's something different parang kasi pag puro crunchy parang wala lang I no it's ano naman eh, crunchy the... on the outside soft and fluffy on the inside Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, no. I don't know. I I like soggy. Sabi no friend ko si right. Team soggy din daw siya. Really? That is so weird. It's good. I don't know about you guys. Hmm. I, I, I mean, okay, wait. Ilaw na teach natin. Yeah, yon. Okay. Yan. Yeah. Grab na yon. Oh, yon. Yon. Yes. Okay. Ako din magiilaw ako. Ay ang liwan. Wait. Okay. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. it's a lot. It's a lot of light. Okay. Hello as well to Mrs. John who says, Gusto ata ni Hazel mamasama sa... Yeah, sa fries. Gusto yeah. naman. Yeah, I, li- I like that. Good morning to um Jimbo Limbo and uh, also... Oh, he sent us like uh, photos and a video of uh, his fur baby. Oh. Very cute. Hello to George and uh, also... Seventy George. What about Ferris and Kirby? For some reason, my chemistry is love for me from Survivor Australia. No, kalaban ng yung dalawa. Kalabang mortal Ferris, yes, sila. morning crush. Ferris. Parang next ko na yan na nakapila. Cause I think we'll do a Survivor morning crush. So hot. Siguro next week. Well, I mean, hello, Sarah and Tobias. Yeah, I mean so, the rest. Marami pa. Eh. Marami pa. I'm only thinking of Ferris. Um, Who else? Valeria? A little bit. Yeah. Sino pa bang naiisip mo? Garrick? Nathan. Raymond? Nathan. Ah, oh, Nathan. Mm. Parang ako not so much. Not so much talaga. Oh, well, yeah. It's okay surprising lang. ha. Because usually you like the, the alpha males. the Tobias. That's why I like Tobias. It was, well, yeah. A version of it. No? Not so. I don't know. You why. know why? Because I think Nathan is no. not, parang not so smart. Eh. Maybe. Medyo may ganong vibe. He seems a little vanilla compared to Tobias. Well, I I do get it. 
Mm. I do get it. You get it for sure. Hello to Maxim. <laughs> Morning crush niya daw si Kwak na yun. A huh? Korean theater actress. She's so pretty. Oh. K-W-A-K-N-A-Y-O-O-N. Kwak na yun. Oh. Okay. Oh. Um, uh, hi to Cyril. Not the lolification of Aubrey. <laughs> Sabi niya, Helena, you're next daw. <laughs> <laughs> Nakapila na sa lolis, lolification. Oh, no. um, uh, Butter Baby says, parang gusto ko rin manghingi ng tikoy kay Aubrey. Ang sarap. And iba-ibang kinds. I might get again. Pag nag-Facebook in between. Can I, can <laughs> I get more? We'll show you. Ito-taste test namin. Ito-taste test namin. Um, uh, hello to I Am Chai. And uh, good morning to Bogs, to Tanes. Hello to Renz and Mitch. We also have, hold up, Dangio, um, uh, Sophia, Yon Tifian says, Mas may luma pang Mr. and Mrs. Smith before Brangelina. I remember watching it on ABC5 with my brother nung bata kami. 1996 TV show? Actually, really? ano, uh, four versions, apparently. Oh. I really got into a deep dive because I really, I really ended up loving the show. And um, really? apparently there were four versions. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, that's interesting. I'll check it out. Hello to Angeli. Morning crush, Diane Kolev. Um, uh, okay. And she sent us a link to the Instagram account. Hello to Edrikins. Also to Hody AH, Coco, John Paolo. Um, uh, good morning to Willie the Man. And uh Sabine, I gave my wife a sack of rice uh instead of the usual flowers for Valentine's Day. Oh, oh practical. Oh. Yeah, it's interesting. I, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can eat rice. You can't eat flowers. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> I'm not That's sure how true. romantic that is, but okay. A lot of Justin, <laughs> Sayana, and... Uh, Good morning as well to Lee. And I think that's it for the text line for now. Oh, there you are. Huh? Hi. <laughs> All right. Yeah, yeah, some more more text? Text? Maybe, Maybe on, on uh, uh, Facebook. On, on Facebook. Facebook. Let's, Let's see. see. Um, um, saying say hello, hello to, to Ron Gumarao. Say please shout, shout out from, from Qatar. Qatar. Oh, hello. Uh, uh, Michael, Michael Ranyosa says, says good morning, morning everyone. everyone. Um, Lee, Lee Kapili Evangelista says hi again, Rushers. Hi, Chico, Hazel, and Aubrey. Oh my gosh, my echo though. My echo though. Yeah, I turned <sighs> off your mic. Oh, there you go. There. That's okay, there. there we go. And let's see. Rosalito says, Hi, DJs. Have a nice day ahead of you guys. You too. Hope you have a great one. And I think that's it for now. All okay. Right. A little a uh, little FU follow-up. Uh, the original Mr. and Mrs. Smith was by Alfred Hitchcock. <gasps> Alfred Hitchcock? In 1941 uh, with Carol Lombard and Robert Montgomery. And then the 1996 TV series uh, starred Scott Bakula and Maria Bello. Oh. Yeah. And then that was followed by the 2005 Mr. and Mrs. Smith with Brangelina. And then the new one with uh, Donald Glover and Maya Erskine. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's uh, been around. It's been around. All right. So we've got our top 10 for today. Um, uh, courtesy of, I mean, well, me, uh, and they lived. <laughs> Let's start off with, let me see here with Farmer Sanchez. Number 10. Number 10. And they lived under the radar, far from the hustle and bustle, um, far from the mapas, mapanghusgang society and online validation. At the young, you didn't put it out there. So you're not putting it on social media. You're not sharing it online. Ano kayo? Very under the radar. At saka, there's a difference between secret and under the radar. Right. Under the radar just means you're just you're not just low just profile. Low key. Low key. Very right. low key. And um, uh, coming from Tampupu. Number nine. Number nine. And they lived forever waiting for the perfect love. Completely missing out on real love, ah. especially for people who fall in love with like fictional characters, yes. right? Or yes. with their mga opas or whatever. Totoo yan. You uh, know what Aubrey, I mean? Ah, yeah. the, the parasocial <laughs> relationships. It's the way to make <laughs> uh, I mean, got that. I mean, no, de ba? Because parang you Nasa feel like. Na namin eh. It's like. <laughs> 
how can regular people compare? You know what I mean? Because right. yung mga yun, you don't know them naman. You don't know the ugly side to That's them. True. Right. You only see all the good stuff. So, you obviously, you know naman, you idealize them. And then it's so difficult to actually fall for someone with flaws. Someone real. That is that is definitely the case. And um, coming from Al Macchiato. Number eight. Number eight. Sorry, Maxim the Winter. <laughs> they and they lived as if they were the kings and queens of the road, them e-bikers. <laughs> may issue I don't know what that is, e-bikers. Ano may issue sa e I thought it was going to be some sort of grand, empowering thing, and then we got to the end. E-bike. I know, right? <laughs> I don't want to get an e-bike to I know, right? Sounds interesting. I mean, Especially, kunyari, for me. I mean, I just go around Ortiga Center anyway. Uh -oh. Well, it might be nice. Oh, I no, I think naman kasi, like, if it's, like, within the village or yung mga ganon, I think it's fine. It's really a bit more difficult when you're on the main roads. Yeah. Mm. Kasi nga, they're, they're a little slower and a lot of them are not really, like, kasi diba, they're not registered yet. You don't mm. really need, like, a license for them. So, right. medyo unregulated siya. So, there's a tendency for it to become a little lawless mm -hmm. you know and you think oh i'm an e-bike i don't have to follow the rules yeah. tendency. but to be fair not just the e-bikes you also have the same not not saying all but mm. with a lot of like motorcycle riders bike riders bicycle riders because of the size mm. you think you don't you think the law doesn't apply to you so means and stop Naka red light pero mago go pa rin sila because they're smaller. That that becomes a problem, you know, from a driver's point of view. And uh, coming from uh, Juice Blank, number seven, number seven. And they lived happily sl uh, settling in their beachfront property, swimming with the sea turtles. Well, that's the dream. Wow. That is the dream. I know, right? Mm. That is really the dream. And uh, from Anti Sedulous. Number six. Number six. And they lived until their old age, not knowing the happiness and the hardships they could have had if they only took a chance. Kumbaga, the good and the bad. Because they never, they never went for it. You'll never know. How good or how bad? Do you consider yourself a risk taker or do you tend to go for what's safer? I think medyo may pagkasigurista kasi ako. So I might go for the same. But I have been getting advice from lots of people to tell me, no, just put yourself out there. So we're currently working on that. Let's see. And especially we... at your age, now is the time to be a risk taker, you know? Because yeah. you can play it safe maybe a little later on, diba? Right. But when I'm an actual Lola now. When you're an actual Lola, <laughs> that's when you're a you literal play it Lola. Safe. Oh, oh. <laughs> But now that you're only quote unquote Lola Hobby. <laughs> you're Lola ish. <laughs> sort Lola -ish. of. Like Medj lang. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, ano eh, ako talaga, moderation is the key. You can't be too much of a risk taker. You can't be too safe then. Right. I really think, you know, you should have like eras. Mm. You'd have an eras. era where, yeah, tuto, parang eras tour. Na parang you'll have an era where, oh, F it, you know, whatever. I'll, I'll do what I want to do. And then there's the era where like, you know what? Maybe it's time to stay on the safer side. Or pwede ano rin. Or it depends okay. on what aspect of your life. What Sometimes, aspect of your life? Like, for example, maybe career-wise, you're more the type now. okay, I don't want to take risks. I want to go for whatever is sure na. But then love, maybe, the ba? Uh -oh. You might be the type to take risks when it comes to love. So. Well, that's true. Maybe. And uh, from Rhyme and Reason. Number five. Number five. And they lived happily until dumating yung mga panggulo. Oh, yeah, kids. <laughs> oh, oh. oh okay, but a lot of couples go through that. Huh? They say naman it's just a stage. But alam mo yung... It's just a phase. I mean, they don't love them any less. They don't love them any less. Right. Hello, obviously. But it's more like 
they miss the days when it was just the two of them? Because mm. remember, I mean, mo- I mean, usually you've spent years together as boyfriend, girlfriend, and then you get married, and then maybe a couple of more years married na without kids. So substantial yung life nyo together. And then when you have kids, suddenly your lives are upended and it's all about the kids. So you kind of miss those days where you, on a whim, you can just go on an out-of-town trip, spend overnight somewhere, spontaneous gimmick. And you kind of miss it. You know, you kind of miss it. And usually you go back to that pag ano ka na, empty nest ka na ulit. Like when they're done with when school, they're, they have their own yeah, lives. they have their own lives na, ayaw na nilang sumama sa inyo. Then you can experience it again, re- rediscover each other. You know, there's this one thing that I saw online, like um, someone on X posted something like, before your kid's birthday, it should be a thing to like go on a date na the married couple lang. Kind of like to celebrate or to reminisce the times na... Oh. Wala pa yung, like before the kids, before anything, and then the next day you can go back to your kids and have a fun day together. Di ba nga they say they, they really have to, and they even train their kids. Ha? I know couples na like kunyari, once a week or once every two weeks they will have a date night without the kids. Mm. And well, the it's kids, a luxury if you you have people who can if help you, have you people, out. Whether you have the yayas grandparents or the grandparents, titos, titas. yes, and they just try to make it a point. To always have a date night. Yun nga, kahit once a week, once every two weeks. Or you don't lose that special connection you have with your partner. And Kasi it's sometimes special. the only connection that's left is, well, the children. And it's important for the children to be taught that at an early age. That the parents also need time na sila lang. Di ba yung hindi l- laging like, what about me? How come I'm not kasama with that one? It's good to train them very early on. Kasi pag kinagis na na nila yun, they won't be as bratty. Na, no, I, I want to go with you wherever you're going. Alam na nila na, diba, this is mama and papa's... I have papa's, two words for you. What? Boarding school. <laughs> That's a little intense. You could just train them, you know. Boarding school is Boarding on the other school. side of the spectrum. <laughs> alam mo, alam mo, uh, Mrs. Trunchbull. <laughs> Mrs. Trunchbull? Alam mo kids si Mrs. Trunchbull? And they have it on their gets. Yung parang ano, yung... Yeah, no, no more like I know. I was thinking more along more the lines like of Meredith from right, the, uh, the, the Parent, parent trap. trap. I was thinking mm. that. Ako parang Mrs. Minchin. Mrs. Minchin, di ata kilala ni Aubrey. Di ata kilala si Mrs. Minchin. I could, I've only heard Princess no. Sarah. Yeah, I haven't. Di ko na ata na about Princess Sarah. Yun. And uh, coming from Mike Ferrer. <laughs> Number four. Number four. <laughs> And they lived being each other's trophy wife and trophy husband when in fact, they both have separate, happy, but secret love lives when the lights are off and the cameras are not on. Oh. Ah. Ito yung mga ano, ito yung mga showbiz, showbiz quote-unquote marriages or love teams. Oh. Yung, of course, they have to be together right. on screen or even quote-unquote off screen because yeah, that's part of their appeal, di ba? Mm-hmm. But secretly, they're in love with other people. Yung iba nga, they're so brave eh, na nafo-photograph pa together with the other With the other, person. yeah. Pero minsan kasi, it's justifiable. Yung kunyari, group shot. Or parang, ay, group kasi, trip ano lang, to we wherever. We have a business together or something Oo, like that. Oo, mga ganon. Pero actually, they're together together. Right? Di ba? May mga ganon din kasi. And, um, from Twin D, Number three. Number three. And they lived with no what ifs, no could have beens, no unanswered questions because they went for it. Consequences be damned. Ah, oh, uh, I like that. I like that. That's nice. I mean, uh, it's not for everyone. And sometimes the consequences are a little, a little, the price is a little too steep to pay. Mm. But you shoot your at shot least anyway. you know. Oh, yeah. diba? I mean, better you know than, you know. Like living you... the rest of your life with Wondering. Regrets. Yeah. Uh, from 7070. Number two. Number two. And they lived happily until the only thing that can tore them apart. Death. Oh my God. Oh, I mean, as what? morbid as it is, that's that's the best case scenario. Till death do us part. It means right. that those were your vows. Till that is the only thing that could 
tear you asunder, you know, physical death. Because otherwise, it would have been a third party or arguments or pride or, you know, uh, arguments over money. So if that is the only thing that separated you, I then think you should be grateful. You were very successful you were ve as a couple. It means as a couple, you succeeded. And uh, the top. And the top entry. Number one. Number one. And they lived comes from Chi Chi Chronicles. Chi Chi Chronicles says. And they lived thriving in their perfect lives. But at night, secretly mourning the lives they really preferred to live. Oh, because the perfect life is not necessarily the ideal life. Yeah. Or maybe it's perfect on paper. On, on paper. paper but on it's Instagram. Not the, but it's not the life that they wanted. Maybe they wanted to be with somebody else. Maybe they wanted to be alone. Maybe they wanted just a different kind of life. Yeah. A non-traditional type. A non-traditional type. Life. Who knows? But there you go. Uh, we will stay on Facebook Live, but we'll play a couple of songs in the RX booth. But we'll continue with our final batch of our top 10 for today. And we'll do a little taste test of Aubrey Stikoy yes. on uh, Facebook. So watch us if you're not watching yet. But first, listen to this one by Thames, Not an Angel, only on the Morning Rush, right here on The Monster. Hello. Hola. Hi. Okay. Let me just finish this. Na 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 na. Is I not an angel? My itlog bati ko ni Aubrey. Yes. Everything. Yes. It's so good. I mean, I've I've always loved tikoy, and doesn't matter plain or flavored. I really just love tikoy. And it's weird that I used to not like it when I was a kid. Really? Yeah. It was an acquired taste. I don't know. Because we kept eating it as a as a habit for Chinese New Year. What but about, eventually ano, it started. What about fruitcake? I still don't you like it. You still don't like it as an adult? Yeah. Ako din. It never grew on me. I'm not a fan of fruitcake. Same. Cake. Even, ano, diba, it's the same as, well, not the same, but similar to mooncake. I couldn't type. I'm not mm. a fan of mooncake. I'm not a fan of hopia kasi in general. Aww. I'm not mahopia. Happy birthday but to Tico Fredo Ayala. Lee. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Ano sabi ni Jamie? Don't eat lohe on Chinese name? Lohe? Ano yun? Mas masarap yun eh. What's that? L-O-E, uh, L-O-H-E-I. But don't eat it? Na, tinatanong niya if we don't eat it. Ah, I don't know oh, what I it don't is. Know. I don't know what it is. Lohe? Maybe I do. Maybe lohe? I eat it. I just didn't know that it was called that. It? Let me Google that. Raw fish, pomelo, spices, oil, ground peanuts, sesame seeds. Uh, raw fish, parang pas. Parang ganito siya. I know. Mm. We don't eat that at all. I've never seen those. No. Ako din, really I've never it. tried this. We don't really eat it in our family as well. It's really more on tikoy. Kapag ganun yun. Tikoy. Kami din, tikoy. Ang alam ko yung ano, don't eat chicken, di ba? Chicken. Well, that's for New Year then. I don't know if this, if it's the same with... If it also is the same kasi for ang Chinese chicken, meat. chicken kasi is isang kahig, isang tuka. So parang pag New Year, don't eat chicken. So yeah. you don't like, become like a chicken. Meat. So all the meats except chicken. I'm telling you, I know all the superstition. <laughs> we have such a superstitious <laughs> family. True. Sabi ni Jamie, instead of raw fish, they use salmon though. They do it for good luck. Kasi the higher you toss the salad, the more good luck though. Oh. So ni J. Carl, parang papunta ng langit yung liwanag ng mukha ni Aubrey. <laughs> Kasi may, is it the light? Maybe it's a mix of the light and... Overhead the lighting. Right. I hate overhead lighting. <laughs> Try oh, that's the worst. Try sabi ni Michael. Baka parang yan yung tigoy no, ni Aubrey. Yeah, tigron is... Ano Let's show them, show them, Aubrey. 
Kakainis ka ano kahapon. So we were raiding, di ba? Oh. So in between raids, we had like a little, like a 15-minute break. So I dis- so we we passed by the mall. So pupunta kami sa bathroom. So I was walking fast. Tapos there's this skincare kiosk. Mm. Pagdaan ko, sabi ni ate, talagang, Sir, under eye cream? Ang dami-dami niyang product. Pagdaan ko. Bakit ang specific? Bakit ang Bakit specific? Bakit may pag-atake? <laughs> si ate. Talaga napatigil talaga. Excuse me? What do you mean under eye cream? Tsaka yung parang feeling ko tinignan muna niya ako. Tapos ito, kailangan nito to. <laughs> under eye cream. Sabi ni Tita Noy, may masarap yung may langka or cheese inside. Oh, di ba there's one with cheese? Yeah, oh, there I is one. Try that. Try oh, that. can I try the one with cheese? It's the one with cheese. Oh, it's the one na balot. And it's new. We've never tasted hikoy na nakalumpia. Oh, yun na nga yun, yung parang tikron. Yeah. Parang yung tikoy na turon. Turon, tiktok, turon hikoy. Tikron nga daw. Tikron. Ano yung tronikoy? Ano yung tronikoy? Yung benta. Ano yung nasa orange? Yeah. Nagpagawa ko, personally, I'm not the biggest fan of eating cheese with tikoy. But mom says it's good. Here's a tronikoy. Tikron. 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 Sorry. Benta eh. Tikron. Tikron. True though, like it would have tasted better kung bagong luto, but it's good. Good. Thank you, mom. Mm. <laughs> Yum. And you know what? I like that tikoy isn't so sweet. Same. Like, like it's sweet, but it's not. It's too a sweet. hint of sweetness, but like it's enough na. It's not overpowering. You don't feel like. Mm. You're gonna it's gonna be sore after, right? Speaking of uhaw. <laughs> mm. Oo nga, crunchy pa rin siya. Ang sarap. Na-try ko na lahat. Na-try ko yung tikra na walang cheese, yung tikra na may cheese, and the one that's hubad. Mm. 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 Maganda yung ano niya, ha? Yung interplay nung cheese at nung tikoy. Mm. The saltiness of the cheese and the sweetness of the tikoy. I must say, ha? Parang masarap nga din yung may langka. Mm-mm. Tama yung tita Noemi. Parang I think... Langkikoy? Langkoy? What do you call Langkoy? Mmm. Tilang. Tikoy lang ka. Tilang. Mm. Tilang ka. Tingka. Ang sarap. Try tikron with Nutella filling. Parang hindi na tikoy yun. Mmm. Okay, fine. I'll have one more. Para siyang ano, cheese stick na may halo. Mm. Kasi ganun din yung cheese stick, di ba? No. Ganun din siya. It's so yummy. Marapra. It's so good. Mm. I was going to get yung, yung regular ulit. Parang masarap yung <laughs> And I must say, it got better mm. as, as you were, like I liked it from the first bite. Pero the more I eat it, the more I like it. Ooh. Has that effect? Yeah, I've never tasted this. This is good, huh? It's good. Mmm. 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 Dem-dem it's so ugly. chewy. I love it. <laughs> Sarap ng may cheese. Mm, 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 
Mm. Mm. <laughs> dami nang nagugutom. <laughs> Mm. 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 <laughs> Para kang gansa. Mm. 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 <laughs> ano, sarap yan with hot coffee. Mm. <laughs> Did it stick to your to the roof of your mouth or something? Yeah, hot coffee would be great. Pero iced coffee is good too. Sabi ni Ross, boss, ang ingay mong kumain. Pero nakasala naman yung bibig ko. It's the Sabi literal ni chewing. Tony, now we know how Chico moans. Ang sarap eh. So good. <laughs> so yummy. Sabi ni Judy, have... mapapatakbo ako mamaya sa binondo sa kaka nyo. I have never, I, I didn't know that you could cook tikoy pala like a, like a turon. Mm -hmm. That you can wrap it in lumpia wrapper. I didn't know. I super didn't know. Huh? Who's this? Oh, sabi ni Bestie Jamie, bukas is the seventh day of the new year. Everybody's birthday in Chinese. Really? You have to eat glutinous rice balls daw. Oh. That's buchi, right? Glutinous Mako, I don't eat buchi pa naman. But wait, what do you mean it's everybody's birthday? I think Is that a thing? Um, maybe not in Chinese, but like, I think because in Korea, they have their own like age, or at least before, there's like this thing where every new year, you're kind of like a year older na agad. Okay. Really? Baka, kasi si Jamie is married to a uh, Singaporean. Oh. So maybe in Singapore? Maybe that's a thing? Sabi ni Sir Rafi, baka dumikit sa pustiso. Yes. <laughs> yes. Delikado yan if you're pustiso eating tikoy. Because it's sticky. Yo, eh. <laughs> Oo nga. Baka matanggal. Ah, sabi ni so Jamie, sweet. in Chinese folklore, parang creation story nila ah. yata. Ah. Nako, 36 na si Chico. <laughs> Nako. Eh di, magbabirthday na naman siya. 36 ulit siya. Ah, 36. <laughs> Dadagdagan na yung ano niya, 36-ness niya. 36-ness. Pwede ring palitaw ang tikoy, sabi ni Lee. What do you mean? Palitaw as tikoy? I guess so it's because it's same texture, texture right? yeah, right? Chewy and everything. Yeah. Pero if you fry tikoy, hindi naman siya, it doesn't go. Kasi palitaw <laughs> has coconut, di ba? Yeah. Uh -oh. Ooh. Yo, coconut na, no? Sarap kaya yun. Probably. We heard Thank you. you. <laughs> Sabi mo, pangalan niya, no? <laughs> Stop! Stop eavesdropping! No, but you, hello, we heard you. Bala kayo dyan. <laughs> Pangalan niya ba? Ay, nako. Ayaw ko sa inyo. Pangalan niya, Tikoy. <laughs> Girl. Oh, I cannot. <sighs> Oo nga naman. Parehong glutinous rice naman ng Tikoy at palitao. Iba lang yung method of cooking. Sabi na lang. Hello, Nelson. Good morning. Hi, Henry. Um, okay, hold on. Let's go back to the top 10.
Monster RX 93.1, final top 10 for today. So let's do some final greets. Good morning to uh, Herod, who says uh, hello, Herod and Audrey. Hi to uh, Yon Tefian, who says, but that's the highest compliment an Asian gives about a dessert. Hindi siya masyadong matamis. Right, definitely. Oh, mm-hmm. I didn't know that. I really like desserts na hindi masyadong matamis. Like, you know. Meron din namang okay na matamis. Like, for example, that pie that, you know, we love. Ako yung tamis yun, ng ano. Yun, eh. Gusto ko yung tamis ng unang halik. <laughs> so the way you looked so shocked after saying that, you were like, Hindi alam ni Aubrey yun. Hindi ba niya alam yun? Sino kumanta nun? Tamis ng unang halik? Hindi ba song yun? Was it? Manilin or Tina Hindi, or something. Ganun. One of them, yeah. Alam ko, sagot yun. Eh, sagot 90s yun. yun. Oo, oh, oh, yun. Early 90s, <laughs> yun my gosh. Yun gusto ko, yung tamis ng <laughs> unang halik. <laughs> sabi ni, Rafa, eh, ay, sino, sabi ni, ano, sino yun? Judy BV. Tina Paner, is that true? <laughs> oh, yan, sabi nga nila si Tina Paner, <laughs> daw yun. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, Good morning to Prince and to Max in the winter. Also, saying hello to um, uh, Catherine and hello from Ray, uh, Rainy Sydney from Zarin. Hi, good morning. There you go. That's it for the text line. As for X, we're saying hello to Jimbo Limbo who says good morning. Imagine waking up to the sight of a furball doing acrobatics worthy of the circus at 4 a.m. Oh, they sent a video of their cat. Oh, <laughs> it's really cute. I love it. Saying hello to uh, to Anne Ragasa. Hello, uh, hi to my mom Arlene Ragasa. To my papa Cecilio Ragasa. Hello to my friend, the crush ng bayan ng office, Iliana Zamora. Oh, how does it feel like to be a crush ng bayan? <laughs> ano la? Okay lang. So. <laughs> Chill lang. <laughs> okay. It's not so bad. Parang ano? It's not all it's meant to be. Parang wala naman. Parang, okay, Chico. Yeah, no. steady lang. Steady. Alam mo, just don't let it get to your head. Ay, parang, parang may ano, okay parang nag yung mga nasa labas, yung mga office peeps. Parang <laughs> ano, parang I can feel like I'm still a brain. Parang ano lang. Ay, parang, parang nagpipikit na sa county eh. <laughs> They're banging on the walls now. Oh, you better run and hide. Sa akin, parang ano, parang, parang ano naman, nothing special. Mm-hmm. Okay. And lalo na if on. ano, parang if if from childhood, ganun na yung experience mo. Parang it's not really special. Okay, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Saying hello once again to Prince Dent, who says 14 days till Leap Day 2024 and 22 days till International Women's Day. Oh, okay. And hello to Kiko Man Machine, who says late tune in almost, oh, happy almost weekend. Oh, happy almost weekend. And that's what we got for X. All right, so final uh, top 10 for today. Sabi ni John Sainay, baka crushed. Nang bayan. <laughs> Sarap pisain eh. <laughs> Grabe yung ang sarap pisain. <laughs> ano what do you mean gusto mong pisain? <laughs> Kikil siya sa'yo eh. Kikil. Kikil, Kikil. a cue. Okay, so uh, number list, top 10 uh, for this batch. I'll just read off a lot of the entries that you sent in. And they lived. Uh, from anti sedulous and they lived a very sheltered life after inheriting an undisclosed amount of money, property, and stock options. Oh, wow. Sarap. Wow. Uh, recently, um, I, I, I've witnessed it happen to a friend. Like, hindi niya inaakala. From a, and not from, ano pa, ha? not from like direct... Relative. Not immediate family. Like you know. like mom, dad. But more like, you know, nu- uh, not nuclear, extended family. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yung bigla na lang niyang nalaman na pinamanahan siya ng like, like a substantial. My God. Yeah. Wow. Like, medyo yung masusok ka na level. Shocks parang dream scenario. Yeah, yung. it's I true. Mean, I mean, of course, kasi if inheritance from like immediate family that's, that's not given. good that's but also given. that's not good because it means you lost someone oh that's true that right. love that's true. pero kung medyo alam mo yung malayong relative na that you probably don't even stay in touch with pero for some reason ikaw yung chosen one na pinamanahan saka hindi mo inaasahan yung, oh. alam mo yung you're probably close but not to the point that 
you you were definitely not like for example an, an uncle and aunt mm. mm-hmm. yung no matter how close shepherd you would expect that it would go to somebody else closer yeah probably like so, their nuclear family maybe so you would be really shocked to find out that you're a beneficiary Ooh. and uh, from wildfire and they lived long enough to see each other much happier apart but for me all's well that ends well i mean isn't that the whole point right even the even you getting together before was in the pursuit of happiness because you thought being together would give you happiness. So, But you found it somewhere else. If in the end you were happy apart, whether you found somebody else or you're by yourself, but as long as the end result is that you're happy, mm-hmm. ade, happy ending. Like it's a bittersweet Bittersweet, thing. But it's, yeah. it, I mean, it's still sweet to some extent. True, true. And uh, from Sophia... And they lived to continue releasing records, which never quite lived up to their one big breakout hit. Oh. Was it the sophomore curse? Yes. The trouble with one hit wonders. No, but can you imagine kung yun nga? Kasi at least pag sophomore curse May lang. chance, but the balance Minsan, back. Minsan, a third, a fourth. Pero yung talagang isa lang. I remember just yesterday, I was reading a, a tweet about um, Vanessa Carlton. A thousand oh. miles. A thousand miles. And then she was talking about the bittersweet relationship we had she has with that song. Because it's her most popular song. You weren't mm-hmm. reading a tweet, you were reading your script for throwback. <laughs> <laughs> Which I wrote. <laughs> the exposure. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> Beyond. Hello. <laughs> Give credit where credit is due. Throwback na palayo. Sabi ko ba? Sa kung ano na basa yun? Kahapon lang yun eh. Kahapon ko lang na basa yun eh. Sabi sa yung kusan mo na. Oh, sa kusan mo na. No, but it's true. Because if you listen to Throwback last night, that's what we talked about. Parang nung nung kinanta siya sa ano <laughs> sa white chicks syempre it sumikat siya di ba yeah. with with Terry Crews right, right. that iconic uh, scene yeah 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 so what she was saying was like it was so big that she could never escape from its shadows and she was saying parang i i mean i'm thankful for it i mean it became a huge success pero parang because it was so big, nag-suffer yung subsequent releases niya. Mm. Kasi nga lahat na, nako-compare doon. Na laging, it's nice, but it's not as good as A Thousand Miles. And, laging ganon. And as an artist, there's always that pressure to outdo what you've exactly. done. So and if you can't outdo it, medyo may... Mm. Yeah, it's kind of like failure at worst. But at the same time, you're grateful because it's better to have that than, than none. not have it at all. Exactly. Not have one na ganong kalaki yung impact. And another one, I thought sure na ako hindi to throw back. <laughs> <laughs> Meron ako nakita na real. So sabi ko, oh, who's this lady? Ay, ang galing niya. Plakado siya. Kinakanta niya yung I don't wanna wait for the start. Tapos hindi, sabi ko, ang galing naman niya. Sino kaya to? Sabi ko, ang galing. Tapos biglang merong, hi, my name is, sino yung kumanta na? Paula Cole. Ay, my name is Paula Cole. You may not know me, but you know, I, I sang this song. And I was like, Ooh. why does she need to like introduce herself? I mean, we're, we're at that Love point that. where yeah. the Paula Cole has to like introduce herself to the younger. Because yeah, she's assuming she's probably talking to a lot of the kids who, who oh, didn't know. Oh, one hit wonder. Because aside from one. I don't want to wait, meron siya yung Where Have All the Cowboys Gone. Ah, that's well, her yeah, song yeah. pa that, na. Uh, that's her song then. Pero Gets, kailangan mo pa na, kailangan mo pa siya na. Well, I think, kasi for this generation, you know. Yun nga, ang ano niya is you probably know the the TV show. Dawson's Creek. But you might not know that it was me who sang it. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, thank you, John Sinus. Hi, Chico. Nisend ko yan kahapon sa'yo. <laughs> <laughs> Strike two. <laughs> yes, let's call him out. <laughs> keep him coming. Keep him coming. This is sabi great. ko bang sinulat ko yan? Diba sabi ko nga nabasa ko somewhere? Malay ko ba sa script tsaka sa Instagram? Nakakatawa. 
nakakawala at sila <laughs> nag ano, sabi ni Hendrick Kins, hala, signs of aging. <laughs> Ay, nako. Ay, nako. And then Emerson was saying, kapatid ba yan ni Gina? Ay, nako. <laughs> Hmm. Hindi ko alam kung sino mga kapatid ni Paula Cole. Okay. So, kung may kapatid siyang Gina, oh, edi siguro nga, if you say so. Okay. Sige. Um, coming from Sophia, and they lived constantly on the run, never being able to use their real identities again. Oh. oh, very witness protection. Very program. witness protection program. Very secret agent. Again, very Mister and Mrs. Smith. Maxim De Winter says, and they lived learning nothing because they lived their life thinking they know everything. Totoo yan. People who think they know everything will never learn anything new. That is true. Uh, Forever Alone says, and they lived a silent and invisible life as fugitives because of their pending warrants. Nakastress yan. Kasi unlike the, unlike the witness protection program and the secret agent, the people behind you are the, like, are the official people. Like mm. the government, mm. uh, the CIA. So legit yung mga backers mo. When you're on the run, when you're on the lam for like a, an arrest warrant, you're on your own. And yung, yung bago mong identity, hindi siya legit. You just came up with maybe a fake name or yeah. something. Pero when it comes to like your SSS, your passport, Siyempre, if, if naka, fake mo siya, oh, oh. hindi siya legit. So there's a chance for you when it, can, when it comes to like getting caught as opposed to like a witness protection program. Hindi ka mahuli dun kasi yeah. pinatago ka nga nila eh. From Chinito Ken, and they lived happily together, matchy-matchy with everything. Eventually, even having matching caregivers in the nursing home. Oh, but that's, a, you know, bittersweet. Pero at least they're still romantic, together. But you don't want to imagine it. Kasi yeah. Nakaka, yeah. <laughs> Kasi it's like it's really sad. But at the same time, happy? I don't know. It's a, it's a mishmash of feelings. Uh, Al Macchiato says, And they lived in the cupboard under the stairs because inflation and interest rates are crazy and no <laughs> millennial could afford to buy a house anymore. <gasps> Who got to? Oh. Who got? Who got? Where is the lie? I know, right? From Farmer Sanchez, and they lived as mag kumpare, quote unquote, after their romantic relationship to preserve their connection and uh, to still be true to their new lives with their own families and their new wives, para they can say without malice na mare. Pahiram mo na kay kumpare. It's giving Grace and Frankie. <laughs> oh my God. This is also reminding me of a Black Mirror episode. There is one that's just like that. I just, just like that? Kind of like that. Hmm. I just can't put my finger on it as of now. Anyway. And the top, and they lived, comes from Al Macchiato. Al Macchiato says. And they lived, living their lives, thinking they were the main characters. When in fact, they're not even cameos. More like extras who didn't make the final edit <laughs> wow that's brutal well at least they lived with their belief that they are <laughs> yeah. they're the main character in their yeah, own lives in their own stories yeah. uh, maybe in the big in the bigger scheme of things they didn't even make, make the final edit the bang sad not see what's his name your favorite co- jack whithall mm. the british the stand up uh, comic who's also an actor in uh, the Clifford, the yeah, big Clifford. red dog. Yeah. He was so, he was telling us the story when he was on uh, Graham Norton, na parang he had a speaking line in Frozen. Mm, uh-huh. And he was so happy. And it, when it turned out to be like the biggest, one of the biggest animated movies of all time, he was so thrilled. And then when he watched it, he realized he was edited out. <gasps> Oh. But he was still in the credits because apparently that's how it works, pala. You will still be credited, even if you don't see yung even if scene they never button. used your scene, right? You will be in the credits. So makikita mo yung name niya, pero like where was he? He was Ganun. not there. Was, oh, oh. Ouch. So he was edited out. 
Alam mo, excited ka pa to watch yourself. It was a very biglang, minor role. Oh. Where was I? Mm-mm. Okay, so what about us? Hmm. Okay, wait. I think I got one. And they lived contented with one another. Not as happy as they were, but it was enough. Ooh. Because, like, okay. there is, that like... That felt real. <laughs> you know, going past the honeymoon stage and whatnot. But, you know, not every day is going to be a honeymoon stage. As long as you've got each other, sometimes that's really all you need. And happiness and contentment, there's also that. Right. Mm. Ah, sige, ako. Being, ano, being Clingy Garcia. And they lived happily ever after, forever and ever, whether you like it or not. Kahit like magprotesta it. kayo, <laughs> they <laughs> don't care. Kahit magprotesta kayo, wala kong pake. They lived happily ever after. Get it? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> what? Okay. Mm. Decision. Oh, okay. Oh, of course. Sige nga. Wala pa bang karugtong? With, uh... Hindi, yun na yun. <laughs> uh, uh, infinity barrier... <laughs> Infinity barrier. Oh, ganun. Pwera usog. With a katropal. Ah, uh, uh, parang wala namang sequel. <laughs> <laughs> ano uh, daw? Oo. Uh, Na-edit out daw yung part. Ay, grabe. Nasa credits pero wala sa scene. Pero wala sa final cut. Oh, no. That's uh, horrible. Um, ano ba? And they lived... Uh, Separately, but forever bound by other things. Oh, I get that. And also knowing that the love will always be there. Mm-mm. Minsan ganon, di ba? Love, Hazel. <laughs> De, ano lang yan? General. <laughs> ah, okay, okay. In general. Okay, okay. okay. If you say so. Mm-hmm. If you say so. <laughs> uh, and they live na binarier yung katropol. Ay, yun. Yun na nga. Yun talaga yun. Wala na. Na box out. <laughs> but anyway, there you go. I think that's it. Thank yeah, you for that's joining it. us Thank you today. for joining Thank us. You, Thank you, Aubrey. Oh my gosh. Thank you guys too. Oh, that was, that was Fun. I know, right? <laughs> Thank you for the decoy. Thanks for the decoy. Of that course. was delicious. I would say anytime, but I think that's the last that we have. For now. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we enjoyed it. We enjoyed it. Wow. So Man, there you go. I'm gonna go on grocery. Okay. <laughs> 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 But, but, no man. Yes. No man. Uh, thanks to you to Jock Aubrey from USC for joining yeah, us. Where can they find you. you? Oh, you can find me on my Instagram. I'm at Aubrey.zip. There That's you go. It. And you can catch her as well. She's like all over the place. Will you be seeing the train? No. Will I be? Will you be oh, seeing? yeah, I will. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I didn't understand what you said. In there. Okay, so you're still going to be on air. I will. Yeah. All right. Yay. Next round, Rhea Rams is up next for the daily survey. We'll be back tomorrow for the Friday edition of the show. Marky will also be back tomorrow. So we'll see you at 559. We'll leave you with Teddy Swims. Lose control only here on the Monster. Bye. Bye. Bye.